I started comedy roughly around 2008, which is when I was very lucky. I won the state final in Queensland for the Royal Comedy Competition. And then by 2010, I was back in Melbourne doing my solo show. I want to be a presenter on one of those afternoon, Saturday afternoon shows. You know when they walk with their hands clasped and they go, tell me more about your favourite lolly shop. We found a fantastic place off the beaten track. I just want to say the phrase off the beaten track. I don't think I was the class clown. I think it was actually probably the, the class nerd that observed everything and didn't say anything for a long time. I didn't actually start comedy until I was 24, so I had a lot of rage built up. There was a class clown. Um, her name was Jordana, and I was jealous. I was so jealous of the attention she got. Um, but that's not my style. I'm actually quite introverted. I don't know how I ended up doing this for a living, to be honest. I don't psych myself up before a gig. I try and be relaxed, actually. I try and be really casual. There's a perfect mix I like to do before a gig, which is one beer and one coffee. And that's like the perfect medium. The best thing about being a comedian would be sleeping in the daytime, going to work at 8 p.m., finishing at 8.20. It's a, it's a 20 minute a day job. I can't think of any other job, like maybe a surgeon, but oh, it's beautiful, it's a great job. The worst thing is, I would say having to prepare your own bass statements. That is really bad because I have no skills in that area. I've actually missed a lot of people's weddings because comedy, the main time we earn money and work is Thursday to Saturday night. That's when the gigs are. So I've missed pretty much all my best friend's weddings and a couple of funerals. Um, but apart from that, I think probably my, my biggest sacrifice has been vegetables. There's no vegetables on comedy club menus. It's all chips. <laughs>